Hey everyone, it's Dr. J here. In our last video, we explored the art of utilizing styles to set up our templates. Today we're taking a step further and diving into the exciting world of modifying and customizing those styles to match our exact specifications. So get ready to sit back, relax, enjoy as we unravel the secrets of tailor-made styles. In order to modify my styles, ensure that you are on the Home tab and you need to be in the Styles group. And within this group, there is a little arrow pointing down that allows you to create or modify styles. Clicking on that arrow brings up my Styles window. Do not confuse this little arrow with the control we used earlier on where we changed the headings. With the styles window, I can move the window around. I could increase or decrease the size of that window. I'm happy to keep the window in this position. Now to change the style for heading one, you should hover your cursor on heading one and I need to click on this little arrow. A word of caution, if you click on Heading 1, then wherever the cursor is currently, you're going to be changing that to a Heading 1. So currently I'm on a Heading 2, and if I clicked on Heading 1, I'm changing this uh, to a Heading 1. So as a word of caution, uh, you can hover on the Heading 1, click on the down arrow and then click on Modify. In terms of modifying the Heading 1, I'm not going to change any properties. I'm going to change the formatting. The first format I'm going to change is the color. Clicking down, uh, I want to change it to black. So I'm just going to click on Automatic, which is currently set to black. I want my heading to be in bold. So I will select bold. I'm happy with the font size of 16. In terms of the font, I want to change my font and I'd like my font to be Times New Roman. If you don't find Times New Roman, scroll down to a T where you will find all the fonts starting with T. So I'm going to select Times New Roman. Uh, there are other properties or formats that you can change, uh, like centralizing the headings as an example. I'm going to leave my headings on the left. I'm going to change the font, sorry, I'm going to change the line spacing. Uh, so I'm going to click on Format, Paragraph, and I can now change the line spacing, which is currently set to 1,08. Uh, I'm going to change that to 1.5 lines. So I prefer my line spacing to be set to 1.5. And I'm going to click on OK. However, if you wanted to change the indent or general, there were other properties you could have selected. To accept all of these settings, I click on OK again. And at once, all my heading ones have been changed to Times New Roman, color black. And the line spacing would be 1.5 for my headings. Let's go through a similar process to change the settings for heading 2. I already have my styles window that's open. Remember to hover and not click on heading 2. I'm going to click on the arrow pointing down and I'm going to select Modify. Again, I'm going to start with the color, set that to black. I don't want bold italics or underline. I'm just going to ignore that. I'd like to set my font size to 14. And I want this to be Times New Roman. Again, I'm going to go to my paragraphs and select that 
line spacing to be 1.5 lines. Click on OK and again click on OK to accept those settings. So all my heading 2s would have changed to those specifications. And should I want to now go and further amend any of those settings, I could do so. And all of my heading 2s would change. Let's now go and go ahead and make changes to my heading 3s. These are my heading 3s. Again, I will hover on heading 3, click on the down arrow, and then click on modify. The color will be changed to black. The size will be 12. I'm happy with that. And the font will be Times New Roman. And to be consistent, I'm going to go to paragraph. Line spacing will be set to 1.5 click on OK, and then I'm going to accept all of these settings. And now we have my heading 3, which are set accordingly. I'm really happy with the way my template is starting to take shape. I have my heading 1s, my heading 2s, and my heading 3s in place, and the settings have been customized to the way I'd like it to appear. There is still one more step that's involved. Now I would like to set the style for those paragraphs that I will be typing in under each of these different sections. In order to do that, you should click under each of the headings where you're going to be typing. I'm going to start here and make sure that it is currently set on the normal style. I could look at this styles group, but once you have the style window open, it's a lot easier to see what has been selected. So I have currently have the normal style. I'm going to create some spacing for each of these headings, and I notice it is on the normal style. Similarly, for my context and as I scroll down, I will create some spacing. This is where I'm going to be typing my paragraphs and I will do the same for discussion 1, discussion 2, discussion 3 and for my conclusion. And for each place where I'm going to be typing my paragraphs, make sure that you are on the normal style. Finally, I go to the normal style, I hover on it, I click on the down arrow, modify, and make sure you are set appropriately for the color, the font size 11, and I don't want that particular font, and I'm going to click on Times New Roman, and don't forget the line spacing. In this case, I want my line spacing to be 1.5 lines. Click on OK and then OK again to select uh, those settings for the normal style. Now I have everything in order. When I start typing my paragraphs, they will be automatically on font size 11 times New Roman. So my template is now set and I'm quite happy with the way this template has been set up. If you enjoyed watching this video, get ready to take it to the next level. Don't hold back, smash that like button, drop a comment in the comment section, and make sure to subscribe so you never miss out on the contents that's yet to come. Catch you in the next video. Bye for now.